still muted, yo. Or you now muted. I got from lemon bone and catnip to brand. Actually, I probably should have just cleaned the stove first. Um, I never got the point of Stranger Things, to be honest. What is it? Kids walking a fucking cavern? Uh... And referencing 80 shit that honestly I knew way before Stranger Things came out. Well, it's different years. Or different. I don't remember. Okay. It's. Hold on. Uh, I remember. Yeah, I ain't got much shit to do tomorrow, so, well, tomorrow I have to, um, finish up the, uh, video submission for that contest, because I actually still gotta add in the new journal and shit. The actual cover's done. Mm-hmm. Adding the filming intro. Tag all the right sources and shit. And refilm both drum covers because guess what I found out? Apparently I left the desktop what? audio going so you could hear fucking Ryan blabbering. In the oh, video. No. Oh no. So yeah, I gotta record that shit. I'm fucking pissed. And I even went through OBS right now to go check if there was any desktop audio issues, but I guess not. So, it's something. So, I don't know what the fuck. I see. Hmm. Yeah, so... I'm gonna be sitting and doing a bunch of recording shit. I'm gonna wake up first, that's what I'm gonna do then pound out shit for probably the next like two three hours it's gonna kill me but really I ain't got shit to do until Tuesday afternoon Martin what up man how you doing are you threatening me thanks for the 200 America. Sunday, but Jacoba is. Uh, Be gone, fuck! As most of them recently has been doing so hot, so you gotta cancel the night, so bye, I'm playing. He's a fucking wrestler. Yeah, dude.
What? My live stream kicked me out on... My Instagram live stream kicked me out on Instagram. I think it picked up your music. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I forgot, basically. The cops that was so dumb. I don't even know how they kicked us the music. The volume's not even loud on my end. So people can hear it. might be more powerful, but the GameCube can't compare it to the awesome might of the PlayStation 2. The... Huh, how about that? I look back at the GameCube pretty fondly. It was the console most of my friends had in elementary school, and despite it being Nintendo's second worst-selling home console, it got some of the best game generation. The tiny discs were one of the stranger aspects of the system, but if you want to get into GameCube accessories, there's a whole world of weird stuff to talk about. Nintendo themselves weren't completely disinterested in the idea of weird accessories. Check this out. Anybody remember the broadband adapter? It plugs in on the bottom of the console and gives you access to an Ethernet port. There was a modem version as well, but this is the one everyone wants. Why? LAN, of course! Fantasy Star Online brought the GameCube onto the internet, but every other compatible game allowed you to have a LAN party with your friends. 1080 Avalanche, Kirby Air Ride, and Mario oh, yeah. Kart Double Dash. Yep, Double Dash! Just those three. And I've never been able to try it since I'm the only one I know with a broadband adapter. So in theory, you could have eight GameCubes all connected together. Just think of all the equipment that would take. Now here's an accessory most people look fondly upon, the Game Boy Player. Everyone knows what this is, you can play Game Boy games on your TV. All three generations of Game Boy games are supported, and some would argue it's the best way to play them. My favorite part is the eject button, which shoots the cartridge out like a missile. It's the perfect way to launch Sonic Genesis as far away as possible. Before I get into the main part of the video, I want to mention this honestly amazing controller. The Hip Gear screen pad is a functional GameCube controller with a tiny LCD stuck on top of it. I guess it could be useful in case somebody else wanted to use the TV, but gaming on that small of an LCD doesn't seem that appealing to me. I guess Nintendo liked the idea since they made a whole console out of it ten years later. But now, it's time for the main event. Yeah, I can't believe what I'm looking at either. Intech were the company responsible for this. I don't know much about them, aside from the fact that they were based out of Miami and they apparently shut down or at least restructured sometime in the late 2000s. Console accessories were their specialty, and one look at their old website would tell you that. Look at this, it's like an early 2000s time capsule. I can almost hear the dial-up sound just by looking at this. They made accessories for all the consoles and handhelds of the time, but I'm talking about the GameCube here, so let's begin with Intech's portable GameCube screen. Vivid game graphics like TV. Oh, we'll see about that. I went out of my way to find purple versions of all these accessories to match my Indigo GameCube, but they were available in other colors as well. They were really trying to push this as a portable option, but why not just go for the GBA instead? Let's get inside the box and see what this thing is like. Well, it's pretty solid at least, and hey look, more Intech products. Lots of unusual stuff, like these cheap-looking third-party controllers, a battery to power both the GameCube and screen, and even component kit- Whoa, wait, what? Okay, real quick, the component cables are some of the most expensive cables in gaming history. They're around two to three hundred dollars now and highly sought after by collectors. The idea that there may have been third-party cables made is huge. It's a shame these never made it to production, but hey, maybe there's a prototype lurking around out there somewhere. Anyway, back on track. The GameCube was frequently made fun of due to it having a carrying handle, but this screen cleverly uses it as a mounting point. The front of the screen looks pretty good and it has the usual dials for adjusting brightness and volume. On the left, there's one stereo headphone jack, which might come in handy for connecting to a larger stereo system. The right has an AV input, so we could technically connect anything to this screen. On the back, we've got two connections. One goes to the GameCube's analog AV out, and the other is for power. 
Now here's where things get even more interesting. But how, you might ask, is this screen powered? Nowhere in the box do you get an AC adapter. There's a car charger, but that's it. No. Instead, you get this. <laughs> yep, it draws power from the GameCube's existing power adapter. You just plug them together, and there we go. This does not look safe at all, but does it work? Yeah. Yes, it does. Now, let's see those vivid game graphics like TV. Well, they're graphics, all right. Okay, I know at the end of the day, this is an LCD screen from 2002, so I should cut it some slack. But honestly, the ghosting here is pretty bad. It's good enough to play slower-paced games, I guess. So, of course, I'm going to try out the fastest game on the system, because why not? Yeah, this went about as well as I expected. Most games look tolerable, but as good as a TV? Maybe, if you're playing an RF. It's playable, though, and the built-in speakers are actually pretty good. They get really loud, though, so I just recommend using the headphone jack. My favorite part of this screen is that you can use the Game Boy Player on it and turn your GameCube into the least practical Game Boy Advance ever. Like I said before, the screen also has an AV input, so you could plug in whatever you wanted as long as it uses composite video. Intech advertised that you could connect a camera, but I tried my Nomad because everyone has one of those laying around. Now we have ourselves a contest to see which screen is blurrier. There was one other thing in this brochure that caught my eye. These huge speakers that attach to the GameCube. I wonder how they attach and how they work. So naturally, I bought one, and here it is. I swear the purple versions of all these accessories are the hardest ones to find. Look at this insanity. What were these people thinking? This looks like mission control. As it turns out, the base of this unit is actually an AV switch box, so you could use it to connect multiple devices to the same TV, and it uses the same power splitter as the screen did. These things just make me so uncomfortable to use. Let's get this screen off and set up the speakers. The base is clearly designed for a standard GameCube, but the Game Boy Player still fits. The speakers just sit alongside the console, and they can even be raised or lowered. The back, though, becomes an absolute mess. The speakers connect on either side, and the analog AV out from the GameCube goes into the base. From there, you can either connect the standard AV cables here, or use these composite outputs to enable the AV switch. Buttons are located on the front to select your input, but input 1 is always for the GameCube. Anyway, let's see how it sounds. bad at all, although the speakers are lacking some bass. Also, the build quality isn't that good, as the left speaker randomly stopped working on I me after only TV. an hour of use at 50% volume. The speaker did start working again after I turned it off for a while. I wanted a freaking sound system in your GameCube that doesn't have any bass in it. <laughs> although, I'd just be like, you know what, give me some speakers with fucking bass. So these are pretty cool, if not extremely impractical, but... Oh. I don't remember the speakers. You can do that? I do remember the adapters and stuff being in the uh, magazine. Oh, these weren't even made by Nintendo, though. They were made by Intech. Oh, okay. You know, okay, the people not. that made the shitty aftermarket consoles not and every single them. accessory known to man. Well, what am I waiting for? There are some compromises that have to be made to get these working at the same time. The screen can't plug into the GameCube's AV out anymore because of the AV switcher, but Intech kindly included a cable to run back into the screen, so that helps. But wait, you may ask, how can you power this entire thing? You're not gonna believe me, but you chain both power splitters together. If what this wasn't going to blow a fuse before, it very well might now. Hell? Let's just get this plugged into the TV as well with the convenient purple AV cable. And while we're back here, let's use component because why the heck not? I did sell a kidney to be able to afford the cables after all. It really is an impressively ridiculous site that is, of course, not endorsed by Nintendo at all. And it runs fine as ever, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me the least bit nervous. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I've dubbed the ultimate GameCube. If the Genesis CD32X was considered the Voltron of video games, then I think the first Challenger has approached. Aside from being the least practical setup I've ever seen, it does yeah, work. You're putting all this shit together to make a freaking video game Megazord.
and I am impressed with that at least. Intech did go on to make gaming accessories up to the 6th generation of consoles, but faded into obscurity after that, and none of their products quite lived up to the monstrosity you see here. Well, I think we've determined the GameCube's superiority over the PS2 in both power and size. Now the only thing left to do okay, is... Okay, dude. <laughs> I like your PC, but still. Get a bigger freaking monitor! Hop back on Intech's old website and see if there's anything I missed. Okay, what about some of the videos that I had at, oh, in the uh, request? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I just remembered other. I had them saved, but then th thanks to the power outage, I lost the fucking links. Gah! Fuck. They're in this town I live in. Yeah. It should be in Discord. Uh, I know that. So, honestly, I hate re-scrolling through shit, so I save it months. Oh, wait. I... You put it in the chat. I remembered. Oh, shit. He does a music, uh... The amusement park stuff too. Right. There you go. Good. I gotta get to the bank. Hmm? Maybe I should. Is it just the first scene or just the entire forty-six minutes? Uh, more like twelve minutes. Alright. No, no. Oh, going well. He had to take the money, the money to the bank, and he goes through a lot just to get do that. Besides, it's kind of crazy here. Si, si, si. Yeah, I'm feeling for Fatsy, okay? See, yeah, I'm very funny, very funny. Waka, waka, okay. Ah, not bad. Now, are, are you sure you're okay missing your stand-up spark? Carmen, you have done so much for us. Let me do this for you. Okay, Fuzzy, you got the job. But now remember, this, this is a very important Come job to us, and you can count on me. Uh, uh, Fozzie? Uh, yeah? Uh, the money? Oh, 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 right, 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 the money, yes! Oh, right. hell yeah. Yikes. Wait, I thought that was the right thing to do. Where's Fozzie? He's on. Uh, well, he yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll watch PS2 accessories after this. Uh, right, right. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Welcome. Hey, Mike. Welcome, okay. <clears throat> what? You can skip a few seconds. Gardening tools, okay? Hold up. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, the shrimp's floundering. <laughs> no worries. He told us to clam up. Oh, what do you want to do? Muscle us? No. <laughs> Don't get me steamed, okay? Steamed shrimp! Whoa, oh. pass the cocktail sauce! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it! I'm coming up then! Whoa, I'm shaking! You're always shaking! <laughs> I'm going to the back. Gosh, I sure hope they have to let the bears room there. Excuse me, wow, mate! Wow, wow. Watch your step! This street is teeming with wild crocodiles! <laughs> Well, yeah. There aren't any crocodiles here. Are you this literally is me talk? always no, no, going no, no, to the no, fucking just, bank. This is a city and there aren't any swamps. Crikey, you're a bear. Oh, I've got to have the tranquilizing, because bears get a tad cranky when they get a bit stressed. <laughs> Crikey, there he goes. <laughs> Hurry, he's getting away. <laughs> Watch out, folks! Stand what the fuck kind of run is that? <laughs> Watch out! There he goes! <laughs> He's right there! These darts are really potent! 
So I've got to get a clean shot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Meanwhile, everybody waited nervously for Fozzie to get to the back. Well, what's happening? What, what's going on? I agree, you tranquilized Jack Frost. Well then. We gotta get him off the monkey pills. There he goes. The monkey serum in his blood. <laughs> Where did he go? Where did he go? Get out of here with your freaky ass look at shit. You'll make sure you don't steal Christmas again by making you feel some serious pain. Man, get yeah, the yeah. freak out with your plastic surgery. Yeah, dude. Uh, okay, yeah, dude. He's for the 30 hit of a month. Fuck. Took from the light. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Out to do shit on a daily basis. Till I drop dead in my bed or whatever. Suppose I deposit my honey in the old tree somewhere. No, not honey. Money. What? Money. I need to give Miss Betterman her money. Oh, Miss Betterman's laundry. Stupid. <laughs> Dustin, you're echoing. Oh, sorry. He goes through a lot in this process, too. Like, now the bags are still Hell no, I would break my back going through that shit.
got the damn bag. Who oh, just so, does that to their looks office? Looks like the Christmas spirit is with the good guys for a change. We know the truth about the contract. There's nothing in here. Ha! Huh, you mean nothing but a pile of cash? Ah! It must have been the switch from what like, that Santa was Santa doing. He was supposed to get the money here, by there, and he's trying to sabotage them, time. and it worked. Okay, you can stop it here. And then they're... Ch wait, are they chugging eggnog? Yeah. Oh, dang! Of course, it's the fucking drummer, but anyway. Sometimes you can't just review the tech. You need to be the tech. Welcome, my friends, to building the ultimate PS2. Do not throw the PS2. Today is a momentous day because. Straight up, I got my PS2 for 13 doubt for like 10 bucks. It still works. It's still going. I watched a shit ton of Evil Abam on it. Yeah. <laughs> As it is slightly after the 21st anniversary of the PlayStation 2 landing in North America. Yes, friends, the PS2 is officially old enough to drink, and it's also officially old enough to be better. You know, we're going to do today what Sony didn't do, which is improve on the PS2 with the PS3. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, where you're going with that, but they kind of already... No, the PS3 was not as good as the PS2. You know what rhymes with PS2? PS who? Opera, the sponsor of today's video. I mean, that doesn't rhyme, but what an excellent segue to our fine sponsor. Hello, dear viewer. You clearly have chosen to change the default. Shut up, I got AI, the I I'm still using Chrome. Toy? So with the iToy, this was essentially oh, a- yeah, Opera so I can run Discord, right? A webcam that plugged directly into the PS2's USB ports. On the front. On the front. I remember that. There weren't that many games that supported it. There were a handful. But it was a very gimmicky thing. Like, this was well before Kinect was actually properly popular. Well before the PS Move. Yo, yeah, PS Move. Yeah, yeah. Ooh! Do you know what that is? That is a PlayStation TV. Does it work with PS2? Do we have the, I guess we need component cable? There are component cables. Excellent. But we. I want the freaking PlayStation 2 iToy just to fucking see if I can get it on OBS. He upgraded and funny. got composite cables. Oh! It's the other way around. What? It came with composite. We upgraded right. to component. Yes, yeah, yeah. Composite. You know what we're talking about? Component composite. It's the one we with got. The... Yeah, we have the one that's capable of HD. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. God. Wow, these are disgusting. Can you zoom in on it? Here, here, here. Dear audience, can you take a close look at this? Oh, wow. Wait, where are the sticks going no. now? <laughs> what, what, what is this? No. Do you see this? Grandpa Charles. <laughs> okay, that one looks fine. <laughs> I also hate to break it to you, Austin, but that's not all the controllers. There's more control. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. there's so more I can't wait to show you my personal favorite. <laughs> uh, what, what, what is this? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What is this? Do I put this on my hand? Yeah. Oh. oh my god, he got the PS2 glove. Oh, good lord. So this is the PlayStation oh, version lord. of the power glove. No, it is not. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not the power glove. It is, it's got a big PlayStation badge on it though. Back and forth like that is up and down. No, it is not. And then- Matt, stop it. And then wave, no. wave, wave your hand left and right. <laughs> Who thought the, oh gee, okay. All right, all right, all right. You know what, that's fine. I'm gonna die so hard in whatever we decide to play. So this one doesn't work. <laughs> Excuse me? It doesn't work. 
Are you trying to tell me that a 20 year old piece of garbage town technology doesn't work? You're gonna show me, you're gonna clickbait me with this. You're gonna make this the thumbnail of the video and it's not gonna work? It just, I thought it was so cool. What is this? Buzz it, a PS2, oh God. This stuff is actually disgusting. We have the nicer version of Buzz it. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. guys, 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 guys. We're trying to build the ultimate PS2 here. I I'm, dr <laughs> I'm drowning in accessories. I'm not even, nothing's even plugged this in. This is even 1% of the accessories. We have a lot of stuff to go through, Austin. We just, yeah, we gotta keep going, man. Okay. Just okay, keep okay, going. Okay. Stop okay. joking and just plugging get to work. Memory card. memory card is plugging in. I have an eight megabyte memory card. I need friends. Hi. <laughs> wait. Uh. I don't know if you have friends, but I just want to play. <laughs> your coworkers will be more than happy yeah. to play with you. Oh my God! <laughs> this is fucking chaos. Yeah. I gotta try. I gotta turn this down. Uh... Look, I had to take my glasses off because I have the worst viewing angle. Jason, you and me switch. This is this is what real power looks like. like. Yeah. This is what real power. Power. That, that was it. That was it. I lost. So I won. Am I the winner? Am I the ultimate PS2 gaming master? Look at look at this. Look at this. That's the face of victory right there. Has the hard drive just been on here the whole time? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I got a story about that. I'll tell you later. Yeah. We we like not not to make things a little more complicated, but we did have this whole kit, which I think has more stuff in it, including Final Fantasy. 11. I tried one that was converted to SATA. I tried a SSD. That didn't work. Can I ask a dumb question? Yes. Thousands. Could you do anything with the PS2 hard drive besides play Final Fantasy? I oh, could. Linux. You can Linux. install Linux. Linux. Well, oh God. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. It didn't work. Only certain models of the PS2 were capable of running Linux, and we couldn't get our hands on one that actually turned on. Tycho Drum Master. Ken, do we get to do a drum? What's that? What's like a solo, but with two people? A duet. <laughs> drum oh battle. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said double solo. <laughs> you know, normally in building the ultimate, I'd be like, how much you spend on this? How much you spend on that? I bet y'all don't even know how much you spend on half of the stuff. This was 80 bucks for us. Okay. I could tell you that we are probably close Eight hundred dollars on this build. On this build, I like the the, the build so part. far. Actually, wait. Play some of those. The game. Y'all got the game, right? <laughs> I feel like we're past the uh, return policy on this one too. Yeah, edit team, can you just uh, maybe tally this? And this could be really hard, difficult to to keep up with. Can we please get a counter on screen for how many items have worked for this ultimate PS2? Oh, uh, that's being charitable. That's being very three. charitable. Are you out of things that work today? We might. Or we have to come back tomorrow. So it looks like there's going to be a Dungeons think, and Dragons movie. Come, I think we should come back tomorrow. They already made one. It sucks. How did how did this happen? Well, this no. one and also has well, Chris Pine in it. Which one? Man, we're one. Really still going to be slandered. Oh. I just saw it. Is that a DDR game where exercise Hell, gets so fun? Oh my God! Is it two? Is it duet time with our feet? Hmm. Is it? I think that's a quintet. Wait, <laughs> quad. Wait, wait. Quin, quint's fa No, quad, 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 quadret. Quart, quart, quintet. Quart. No, quartet. 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 You know, language, numbers, words, really not our thing today. So I had these kind of mats where they were just flat and there wasn't any padding in them. Yeah. My friend had one of the ones where it actually had pad padding. It was like an inch thick. Uh -huh. yeah. I broke like three of these. I believe it. That's very basic. All, All right. right. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Ooh. Did we kill the ultimate PS2 and we haven't even gotten into the game? We've got all this setup done. I'm just gonna uh. get a better TV. <laughs> Can we just swap that PS2 in real quick? Thanks. I don't know if that one works. Ah, Ken, put it back flat, flat. Jesus. That might actually destroy that disc. You know, some videos just go better than others. And this one, not feeling right now. All right, I'm going to cut. Yeah, let's cut. Oh, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch a button. It's working. 
twerking. We gotta get into a game. I don't care what it is. Just give me something. YMCA, YMCA. YMCA. Let's Wait, go. Wait, we're gonna get copyright strike. Fine, whatever. We'll replace it with copyright music. Just go, just go, Ken. Oh. What the, what the, oh God. This is the saddest thing I've ever watched. Oh my God, Jesus. I don't have that fast footwork. No, definitely not. Okay, I need to go down to difficulty. Oh, 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 let's go. Let's go, I toy. Watch me dance. Oh, oh. Look, at us. look at us. Oh, let's go. Yeah. I'm not sure why the eye toy was useful there. Jason, I need your gallon of water. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jason's about to smack you if you touch his water. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I kind of need like at least half of this, but like, why are you hoarding? California's in a drought, dude. <laughs> All right, friends. Bruh. It's day two. Time to continue with my very sad pit. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that was violent. <laughs> you know, that's the way we're going to play this. Gonna play this. <laughs> That's fine. A little antagonism. Never hurt anybody. Okay, that came out in a weird way. What is this? I throw down. <laughs> Not Do Fine. we have a game of Street Fighter for the PlayStation 2? You get mad if I throw something at you. I was ready for that one. He literally telegraphed it, but he was like, this. This? Oh, so this is a really custom controller. So the L1 and the R1 are actually up with your so face button. So this is a 15th anniversary Street Fighter controller. Since you have a Street Fighter shirt yeah. and a Street Fighter controller. Yep. Let me guess. Copy shirt. No, a copy of Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Because that is all we can find because I <laughs> cannot find my copy of Street Fighter. Uh, are you are you kidding me right now? What is wrong with this video? Just Nothing playing. is working for this video. I'm sorry, but finding things that are 21 <laughs> years old is not the easiest thing in the world. There's more? I didn't put my shirt on yet. What's up, Maddie? Well, don't, don't Hi, Maddie. What's up? So this is one of my favorite accessories of all time. I want you to open this and keep an open mind. Okay. It is way ahead of its time. Oh. All right. The change first. The change first. Hey, fine, fine. I know you just want to see me we'll take my duck shirt off. There is a shipping manifest. I'm going to immediately throw that away because I don't want to see what the act. Thrustmaster. The fighting arena. Yes. So, you see those two sticks in the back there? Uh, yeah. Of the picture? Yeah. So, those two sticks have sensors on them that correspond to interface buttons on the PlayStation. Oh boy. Just keep in mind that the Wii didn't exist yet, the Kinect didn't exist yet. I mean, this is cool. I'm skeptical. It's an easy 19 step process. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that smell of like plastic, like, you know what it smells like? Like an inflatable ball. What? Okay. You're dangerously close to a fetish here at this point. Woo! Uh, where did my display go? Oh, so about that. We didn't want to use the other one again just because we were afraid you're going to break it. So we got you an even more expensive one. Okay. The 5.4 game screen for PS2, a high resolution color display. Now, if you've ever seen the PS1 screen, it was cool because it made your PS1 very portable. This is a fucking piece of shit. What? Uh, Do you see how small that screen is? Do you think this thing is portable? Why is it this thick? That seems huge. <laughs> It looks like you made a PS4, dude. <laughs> wow. Wow. I am in awe of the enormous display that's in front of me. Can you believe that one year after this was purchased, mm -hmm. they invented this really awesome thing called the PSP? Yo, but actually though, the PSP is the actual portable PS2. All right, friends. So I'm about to experience the spectacular story of Dragon Ball Z. So to explain what I'm looking at here, I have my directional keys on the map, I have triangle as the top, I have square in the middle, and I have O and I have X on the sides. Please tell me this is tutorial mode. Okay, well that's not what, 
You don't no, hit it. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Are you? Did you kind of? Did this kind of work? Oh wait, this is actually nah. a show. So if he starts using this now for broke versus pro, you might be. Uh, What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? So I'm finally learning the controls a little bit. Oh god, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to be rotating my thing. I don't have I don't have a rotating You do. You have to, yeah, yeah, you have to slide your feet. I will say that this was the Achilles heel of these games. <laughs> the Achilles heel. <laughs> oh, it overheated. Oh no, the PlayStation died. Hello again, friends. Hopefully you're finding this ultimate episode of the PS2 enlightening. You know, I swear to God. Oh, oh yeah, the Slim PS2, the actual superior PS2. Oh. We could have just started with this, you realize, right? Wait, this is the end of the video? Mm -hmm. Wait, there's no more items? No. But where's the old stuff gets to? Damn it! Let's put a phone. Let's put a phone. Here's all the videos. He's just like, we're gonna do this. <laughs> yeah. Or, better really? yet. Dear audience, I would like to sincerely apologize for the disappointment of the fact that we did not build the ultimate. <laughs> just like, we're in perfect timing for that. say, I am just as disappointed <laughs> as you are. Um. I'm Anthony Padilla, and I spent a day with kidnapping survivors to uncover the truth about the life-altering effects of vastly different kidnapping experiences. We'll learn the earth-shattering devastation of being kidnapped by a family member and what that does to a child's psyche. And we'll discover the horrifying struggle of escaping a serial killer and the way this tormenting night impacts every element of one's life. Hello, Kara. Hi. Natalia. Hi. By the way, this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Visit betterhelp.com slash Padilla because sometimes existing is exhausting. Now. Before we get into your full story, can you give us a brief synopsis of your kidnapping? In 2002, when I was 15 years old, I was kidnapped from my best friend's front yard by a stranger. I was held for 18 hours until I escaped, and I found out later that he was a serial killer. 18 years ago, on this day. What? Weird, right? That's very weird. I was gonna wait to tell you until we were filming. I was abducted by my biological father. I was seven years old when I was abducted. My parents were going through a divorce, a mm. really nasty custody battle, and my uncle and my aunt are babysitting me. My dad shows up. He burst in and basically said, I'm gonna take my daughter, I'm going to take her to heaven, and you're never gonna see us again. That's when we basically just started driving mm -hmm. to a theme park. My mom has called the police uh -huh. and there is an active Amber Alert out for me. The moment happened where I realized that this wasn't a normal day with my dad. While we were on this roller coaster, my dad had lost <laughs> the necklace that he was wearing and he just snapped. He started like pushing things over at the theme park and he was like spitting on windows. That's when he grabbed me and he put me back in the truck. He just started driving the opposite way from home. I yeah, was at a friend's just house. Just so I was like, why not watch on the stream plants. tonight? So I went outside, was watering the plants, and a car passed on the way out of the neighborhood. The car pulled also, back I do apologize into the for Andrew in the background. Kind of weird, but maybe so. it's someone who knows my friend's mom. I get out of the car. He is very average looking, white male, comes straight over to me. He said, I have these pamphlets today. I saw you out here and I wanted to give them to you. So he was at least as far apart as we are through yeah. this entire conversation. And so when he reaches in to hand me the pamphlet, he put a gun to the right side of my neck and he said, come with me. And I kind of went, stop. And he goes, no, you're gonna come with me. He walks me around to the driver's side of his car, opens the door and he says, get in. I look in the back seat and there's one of those big plastic containers back yeah. there. And I said, where do I go? And he said, get in the container. So I got in the container, yeah. kinda, you know, like this. He like kind of set the lid on top, got in the car and backed out of the driveway. My brain immediately went into like this analytical mode and all my emotions shut off. I was memorizing, you know, the songs on the radio. There was a serial number on the inside of the container. So I memorized that. 
there were many things that I memorized and that was just kind of the beginning of me locking in as much information as I could about this person. Wow. And so he drove for about 15 minutes, pulled over to the side of the road. And at that point he put a ball gag in my mouth and uh, put restraints on my wrists and my ankles. He told me to scream as loud as I could. And he said, okay, good. And then put the lid all the way on the container, drove for another minute or two before he stopped the car and then lifted the container with me in it, carried it a short way, set it down and drug it. And I could feel it being drug over concrete and then over a threshold mm. into what I found out was his apartment. He comes to me, he says, Okay, I'm going to take the, the gag out of your mouth. You have to promise not to scream. And you have to remember, I will always have a gun or a weapon of some type. Pretty quickly after I'm there, I begin to notice that That's not creepy at all. in the apartment that maybe a man. Fuck that. So That's I'm there for 18 crazy. hours. And while I'm there, I at one point was in the bathroom mm -hmm. and I noticed a hairbrush. And it had mm -hmm. long red hair in it. Mm -hmm. And I noticed like, some feminine hygiene products. So mm -hmm. I realized, okay, a woman spends a decent amount of time here yeah. and she has red hair, right? So mm -hmm. I'm just kind of cataloging all of this information. And he said, um, you're gonna be here for a while and at some point you're going to have to eat. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, well, I'm not going to eat right now. So is there anything that I can do for you? And he says, yeah, sure, you can sweep the kitchen. So I'm like sweeping the kitchen, right? And I use this as like an opportunity to get close to his refrigerator where there's some magnets for like his dentist and his doctor. And so now I know who his dentist and his doctor are and I memorize those things as well. So I'm there for 18 hours. Uh, he sexually assaulted me multiple times while I was there. Um, he made me watch the news to see if I was on the news and if anyone missed me. Of course there was nothing there. I had been missing for 11 hours and I was listed as a runaway and eventually uh, he restrained me to go to sleep. So I had handcuffs on my wrists and then I had a leg restraint on my right leg that was tied to the foot of the bed. And I always expected that while he was sleeping would be my opportunity to escape. But at that point he had also made me smoke marijuana with him and then I had a Valium and I was you know, 15 years old, and I think it was probably like 105 pounds. This is the right? first time you felt any of these right. feelings. Right. Yeah. So obviously I fell asleep. And then I woke up maybe seven maybe. and he was still asleep. He was mm -hmm. next to me, he's in the bed next to me. And I realized that that was my opportunity. She's my dad was just driving really, really recklessly. He was running red lights, he was running stop signs. I swear, he I, started if I have to, I will yell Andrew, I don't care. And I see police lights behind us. Part of me was like kind of confused because I always thought that like police were good. Like I didn't understand that they were yeah. after my dad. He wouldn't pull over and one of the police officers rammed the cop car into his truck and caused an accident. The police surrounded the vehicle. They opened his door and pulled him out. He was still speaking in tongues and just completely out of reality. The last thing that happened was the police opening my driver's side door. I was yeah. sitting in the front seat. They pulled me out of the front seat with my seatbelt on. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, they, they choked out. And I'm like, my seatbelt's on, my yeah. seatbelt's on. And they're just trying, you know, to like- Rescue get, you. Rescue right? me. Yeah. The first thing that I had to do was get my hands out of the handcuffs. Mm -hmm. So I tried to twist my hands, you know, kind of squeeze them out of the handcuffs. Yeah, almost. He's right next to you? Right. And couldn't squeeze my hands out of the handcuffs. So I tried to unscrew it with my fingers and couldn't. So I had to kind of shimmy my hands up to my mouth and then unscrew it with my teeth. So I unscrewed the quick link, kind of pulled the handcuffs out and then had to get down to my right leg had to disconnect that restraint from the bed, got out of bed, and mm -hmm. then I was able to get one of my wrists out of the handcuffs. Went to the front door. It was more or less barricaded. Every single sound probably sounded like it was the loudest thing in the world. In that Absolutely. Apartment. And it's a very small apartment. And his bedroom where he's asleep is like looks out at the front door. So it's literally on the other side of the wall from where I'm trying to escape. You made or, it this far. Right. And now you, you have to be committed because right. if you get found being out, you can't put yourself back in right. that. I somehow am able to kind of shove everything in, open the doors the rest of the way, unlock the, you know, the multiple locks that are on the door. I'll drop her mind. The door open, and I know that it's going to wake him up, right? So I know I have exactly one shot at this. And I think he's going to wake up He's going to see that I'm not there. He's going to look out, he's going to hear this, look out the window and see me running. Mm -hmm. 
and shoot me in the back. That's all I could think. And I just thought, you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm out and I'm just gonna someone wait will find me and someone will find me. So camera. it doesn't matter. And so <laughs> I saw the car driving across the street. I just called out. I was there all the time until midnight. You have my house? Hey, we're like, waiting to see if Michael noticed when he's on camera. Skip pause. Because I'm a true culinarian. I understand what Gordon's looking for. What is it? I call it exotic tartare because it's with venison and diver scallops with caviar. No, no, no. You just have to pay the delivery fee and you can get whatever you want on the pizza. That's all it is. So if you if you have like five dollars and change. And white chocolate. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. Alexa, when does St. Charles uh, Domino's close? Domino's on Drosty Road in St. Charles closes tomorrow at 12 a.m. Yeah, they close. All Domino's closes. Now they will. They have to. They, they, they keep delivering is the thing. Even if it goes past midnight, they're not taking anymore. Damn, I'm gonna fuck with yeah. that boy. I just, I just call the motherfucker. <laughs> Alexa, what sound does a whale make? I think his headphones are plugged in. No, I know, Mike. He barely has headphones. I really don't understand what Chef Ramsay did like about the dish. I'm a little boggled on that. A uh, large. Is it a free medium or a free large? I don't even know at this point. Let me turn this Gordon Ramsay shit off. Domino's.com. Domino's.com. Hold on. Am I signed in? Yes, I'm signed in. Okay, redeem. Oh, don't do this to me, Dominoes. Don't do this to me, Dominoes, please. There we go. Okay, I got my password. Hold the fuck up. La, 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 la. La 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 la. Start from scratch. Okay, what do you want on the pizza? Uh, pepperoni and bacon. Pepperoni and bacon on all of it? Yeah. Or do you want half and half? No, I don't want that. Okay, hold it up. Do you want extra? I think I can get extra for free. Let me see if I can get it for free. You want any vegetables or anything? Is that No, you can get whatever you want. Is it that I'm pretty sure um it's a free pizza. Like you have to spend you have to spend 10 bucks a time to get it. So I spent 60 bucks. They're just giving it. They're gi they give people a free pizza for spending money. It's it's Pizza Hut rewards, uh P uh, Domino's rewards or whatever. <laughs> Uh, so, but if you wanted, like, anything else, then that would cost dough. I literally have, like, $3 in my fucking bank account right now, that's why. Like, I couldn't even cover the fucking... Legit, like, I could show you. You want normal? That's right, or extra, uh, yeah, let's see if I can get extra. What are the odds? Oh. That's all you want? Yeah, that's Okay, add to order... No, thanks. We'll keep your order ready. Domino's item added. Done with this coupon. Okay, let's go to checkout. No. No. Okay. Now, let's... 724. Select time. 10.30 a.m. Or, or, or later. Timed orders must be scheduled at 10.30 a.m. or later. Okay, yeah, no, this is a change one. 
Um, no thanks order right now. Okay, cool. So you saved thirteen ninety nine. Now, uh, give me your address, Janai. Hold on. Use other address. Wait, no, not two thirty five. It's three. Yeah. What's your address, Janai? What's your apartment name? Yeah, fuck it. He'll know when he gets big up here. What about this? Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the apartment. Mike hasn't been up in months. That's the funniest shit I've seen. <laughs> well, anyway, let's get God. back to the... Oh yeah, Heather, we're watching uh, kin uh, kidnapping survivors. Oh, oh boy. boy, I watch enough. I've watched enough. I want. I wanted to see when Mike gets back up here, and I'm shoveling my anime list around again. Oh, <laughs> Cause I had and stuff. I am finally done with uh, rinsing the lemon bomb. Of course, gotta keep my uh, teen romantic comedy music in one slot. <laughs> my toe is starting to cramp from the heels. You're still wearing them? Well, they make me look. I don't know, it makes me feel a certain way. Heather, take it from, uh, so you're take it oh, from somebody so you're who like has been cosplaying okay. for six years. Believe me, beauty is pain. I haven't worn heels in, heels in ages, and so... Well, the thing is, these are not really high. They're more like... I sound like a 14-year-old, but my boobs are huge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who the hell wants to take bets of how long it's going to take till Mike realizes his ass was up here? <laughs> I don't know, but that's a good fact. Eight bets, eight bets in the crowd, eight bets at all. I uh, started at 50, started at 100, started at 150, started at 200. Morgan? All funds go to the show. Morgan, I'm, I don't have much money. I can't okay? buy Domino's. I can't bet. Morgan, I'm not giving you money for Domino's. Yeah. I, I'm the, if I had the money, I would PayPal you, but I don't. Also, I have to figure out if that shirt I'm getting for VIP is I actually like a paid for. My boobs are huge. <laughs> <laughs> also, Andrew's using the trash can for the mini pigs. Imagine. <laughs> Yeah, we're just waiting for Mike's reaction, aren't we? That and I'm still well, moving around my Spotify. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Mike's still in here. <laughs> I just can't yeah, you know, even funnier. I'll just do this. Mike, you was up here ordering a pizza. Do you think he has the headphones in, though? He doesn't wear headphones. I can't I understand know. you. Go back to your country. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying of laughter. But, yeah. Actually, no, hold on. I'm leaving on a Wednesday. How about that Wednesday night if... I don't know if Dave works, though. That's just, oh, wait, no, Dave's going to be off. So, I'm trying... Okay, now the shuffle even more shit because I just moved everything up. What do I want? <laughs> just kill that. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Get all my freaking chaos shit up there. Good night. 
It's Dang, how long we gotta wait? Oh, come on, I'm getting some. I'm, I mean, I was moving shit, but. Because I gotta get a shower. And. I mean, I could listen while. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind it. Plus, I'm gonna get. We're gonna be here a while. Matter of fact, um, I've actually appeared on StreamYard via my phone, and because um, there are some of the cannoli guys on the cannoli stream, they'll do a shower, like vlog oh, from Christ. there. Not, not just the chest part. And I figured, no, I didn't show anything. It's just the audio. And they would hear me. Why is she splashing in there like she's in the tub? And I was like, because it's water. What? <laughs> it could hear it. They well, couldn't there you go. see this it. This keeps it more entertaining. Is that what I call it? It's like, is that what I call it? Everyone knows this song. Like until they get the lint stuck up their nose and to their brain. Well, he probably. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I would have killed him. Yeah, he's gonna wanna go <laughs> through the screen. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why did you do that? Point. That hurt my ears. Good. That made a point then. Morgan, okay. Wow, Morgan. I do anything. Now the Dumbledore commands you bitches! Including that. And you know my time is weak and damn well. Oh, it looks so good. Great, Naruto music with this anime. Nice. Nah. I'm 
I'm still telling you yeah, there anything that goes wrong in that I will know who to run into his house. How are you gonna do that, Morgan? Yeah, so basically everyone's back together now. Lauren probably took an early flight today, as my guess. So. Yeah, everyone's back together now. They just have to... Also, I'm not... I don't know... I'm hoping by tomorrow they're all better before the next venue, but if not, then they're gonna have to postpone that one too. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> no, not this the song. Why is this? I. Oh, the why the fuck is this sync up with the code monkeys? I made the I made the balance on the seal with only one foot. My dress is. I think some the shoes from Goodwill. I think I still. Full on. They're. Are they. I don't know where the hell I put their shoes at. Oh, fuck, that was bad. The pole is leather, and the brand is unlisted. Like, it's cold. I either got. I either got rid of those shoes or I lost them for. I don't know what's wrong with this. I don't know what's wrong with this. I don't know what's wrong with this. I don't know I did, Mike. You was ordering a fucking pizza. And we were laughing our asses off. <laughs> no, man. It'll be a best freaking content. No. I took you off before that. I was just seeing how far the other funny shit would go until, yeah. I just was like, yeah, knock them all the way for him to fucking not address his friend and someone accidentally walked the damn shot on him. Can you tell Mike what happened, Morgan? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I had my shoes from prom in my room still. I don't have them. Oh! All I have are these black shoes I had for choir. I you never know, like wearing them during. Oh. Yeah, just. Okay, I'm trimming that down. I mean, if you want to come up, you can. It's just I gotta get a shower. But I'm not gonna show anything though. <laughs> gotta clarify. What up, boss? What the shit? Oh, 
And yeah, by the way, if there's any people in here waiting for Heather to get a shower, piss off! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just listening. I don't care. I'll be the one to fucking say it. Oh, yeah. I got something else. I got Everclear. The band? No, I'm not talking about the band. Fuck. I'm talking about this stuff. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike, come back over here. <laughs> This is for, um, tincturing resins, barks, dry plants, stuff like that. Again, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm not gonna drink it, it's for, um, tinctures. But, um... Okay, so I just tried on the shoes from when I used to wear in choir. They still fit me, which I'm surprised by. Holy okay. Nothing. Here's the shoes again. Yes, there's an update. Um. By the way, yes. Nice background. Well, this is one of them. Ah. Uh, again, you got three monitors. Yeah, he's forgetting the <laughs> fucking. Reason. Okay, I better stop. I got. Okay, I gotta get a shower. I will be on my phone. Okay. So, I will listen in. Alright. Hey, I might just play the- I just might come in with just my audio, and but not any but, yeah, visual, you, so. Cause why not? You guys already saw number one. Uh, number two, obviously. 